Okay guys, I have uh, started running electrical. Uh, it's coming along pretty well so far. Um, I've run a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of conduit. Um, we're here by the front door. Uh, coming uh, on this wall right here, I'm going to leave this corner open. Um, I think I've mentioned that before that I'm going to run uh, wall material up to the corner leave about three inches and the ceiling about maybe two three inches and then just put a big fat piece of crown molding so that if I ever need to get access to the electrical I can just take off a single piece of crown molding and have access to it. Um, been mostly uh, really busy like um, in the walls I had to run this conduit, it's um, like a plastic PVC pipe, but it's made for electrical conduit. Um, I had to run that, here, let me back up a little bit here and show you, because um, the wall material is gonna be going right over that. So I needed to get conduit that was the exact same thickness as the wall material, as the um, studs and the insulation so that the wall material can just cover right over that. This is my electrical conduit. I left room for the water pipe that's going to be coming down to the sink. Um, and I've got a big rat's nest here, a rat's nest of um, wires for the switch. And that's what I kind of want to just take a minute and get up on a soapbox about. <clears throat> um, uh, let me see here. Uh, this little guy right here is what I'm going to be using. It's just these little rocker switches and um, it's just a big loopy mess on the back. And I, um, I am self-taught with electrical. <clears throat> I've just been getting on YouTube and checking YouTube. Um, this didn't make any sense to me when I first saw it <laughs> because I'm sitting here, every light has a red switch and a black switch, or a switch, a red wire and a black wire. And so I come down to this switch panel here, and there's only room for a single red wire to go in each one, because all this does is it just breaks the connection with the positive line. That's all it does. So it only needs the red wire. So there's only room to plug one wire into each one of these switches. That's all. So I tried to wrap my head around it and I was really confused what to do. I've got two, sorry, we have some artwork on the windows and stuff. <laughs> uh, we've got, I've got two wires coming in and then only need one wire to go on the back. So I was, a little lost as to what how I was supposed to do everything properly and I scoured YouTube I must have watched 15 videos about these things and all the videos were talking about <clears throat> like how to change the lights on here and how to you know rewire it I didn't want any of that I just want to know how the heck to do it so um, I reached out to a few uh, people, my father-in-law and um, some other folks that I know that have an idea about 12 volt electrical wiring and they gave me the solution. So here it is um, for anyone else that maybe has been looking, how the heck do you wire this thing up? Um, so it's true, every, every light that comes in from the ceiling, you've got a positive and negative wire I ran them all to the top of the conduit right there and <clears throat> I split the wire and I left all of my negatives up here just hanging loose. Ran just the positives down through the conduit and this is just <clears throat> the positives for each one of these switches. There's five switches, I've got five positives here and I've got each one of them labeled. Each one of those positives is gonna go into a little blade holder, which I'm getting ready to do. 
and each one's going to plug into these. And so then I've got five negatives just up here hanging out doing nothing. <clears throat> My options are I could either run five lines all the way back to where the batteries are going to be way down there, or I could get this really funny looking device. And here's the solution. Um, I have already forgotten what the heck this thing is called. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what this thing is called at all. Okay, but here's how it works. Um, you've got a hole for a wire to go in. Come on, focus. There you go. A hole for the wire to go in on one side and a little tiny screw in there. So you put the wire in, you tighten the screw down, and then you connect it to the other side. This thing is just meant to connect two wires together. That's all it's meant to do. But if you loop the wires, yeah, let me show you from the front, so that each one, except for this first one and the last one, each one has two wires coming in and out of each one, which let me tell you, it did take me a while to do. But then you connect all of them together. So now you've basically formed a crude uh, relay or a crude like negative bar. So this is going to go up here in the ceiling and each one of these negatives is going to have its own little spot to put five in here and then run another one. I left a few extra just in case I ever need to tie in more stuff later. I don't want to have to do this again. But I've got five for all the negatives and then at least one more to run a negative line from here back to my fuse block that's gonna go back here which is connected to the batteries. So basically instead of running all five wires back, all five negatives back all the way to the battery, I can just use this thing and run a single wire back. So all the negatives are gonna be connected to this and then run back to the battery. All of the positives are down here going to get connected to the switch. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got a little bit more done. Uh, here's what it's going to look like, the finished product. These are all my negatives. Uh, all came in. Each one's got its own little spot. I got a few extra if I ever decide to run some more lights or tie something else in. Um, I won't have to run another negative. This negative runs all the way back down to where the battery is going to go. So I'll never have to run more negatives back to the battery from this spot. I can just tie a few more in here if I need to in the future. Uh, that's going to tuck up in there and I'll have that crown molding piece right there to cover it. And so that's all the negatives. And then down here is my switch plate. And you can see how all the positives are going to come in on the switch plate. Um, these are just blade um, bladed, so I can pull those back off. Obviously, I can't have everything wired up, you know, until I can install this properly. But I just hooked it up to show you guys what it's going to look like. So um, that's how it works. All the positives down here, all the negatives up there, and then everything else just runs to all the lights um, double cord. I, uh, <laughs> I've had a few people tell me already I have uh, I did the best research I could online to figure out what size gauge wire I needed and uh, I, I did not I thought I knew how to figure it out but apparently I did some serious overkill on all this. <laughs> I wound up running 14 gauge for all the lights and then anything that was bigger than an LED I use like this uh, uh, 10 gauge wire for the uh, inverters there's gonna be an inverter in the kitchen and then two over by the beds I wound up running 10 gauge wire for all that and uh, I found out later that's just way way overkill but <clears throat> eh, I think it'll be alright um, you can see a little bit more of the conduit work that I did here. Um, I've got 
conduit running anywhere that comes out into the cabin so that hopefully in the future if I ever had to do change something with the wiring I'll have a hole where the LED is going to go and then I'll have access to this conduit um, and the corner is going to be all open like I said I can just take a single piece of crown molding off and have access to the wires there so once we cover all this up with insulation and sealing material if I ever need to get back into it I can get back into it without having to rip the whole thing apart um, let's see what else oh yeah right here this uh, this is another spot where I ran conduit inside the wall um, so same thing this will all be covered up with shiplap and so it's the the conduits the same size thickness as the studs so it'll lay nice and uh, nice and flat and it'll all come right through so here's hoping all right uh, more updates to come thanks guys bye